An eight-year-old boy is at the center of a 911 drama in which rescuers could not find the victim. With his mother not be able to speak after having a seizure, the child worked with MedStar's dispatchers for 38 minutes until help arrived. Channel 8's Jim Douglas has the story. Yes, ma'am, help is on the way. When MedStar dispatcher Jolene Quig got a seizure call like this a few days ago, she immediately faced two huge challenges. First, I'm in a <laughs> You're what? She couldn't understand the caller. Second, it was a cell phone with no way to locate the precise address, just somewhere near 377 and Keller Hicks Road in North Fort Worth. You need to take a deep breath and try to tell me where you need the ambulance so I can send you help. That's all the caller needed to hear. I was all business and I was kind of worried. Eight-year-old Isaac Davis Pelletier saw his pregnant mom seizing on the floor, at times not breathing. But when she was having a seizure, I checked her pulse. You checked her pulse? My dad told me that. Isaac didn't know his address because he'd just moved in the night before. The neighbors weren't home, the street sign too far away to run. Plus, I had to be right beside her side in case something happened. During virtually this whole 38-minute 911 call, there was a MedStar unit circling in the area, sounding its siren. <laughs> But it never got close enough for Isaac to hear it. He, he didn't get upset. He didn't have that re-freak or anything. Finally, Quig asked him to look in the mailbox, where yes. Isaac found his address on an envelope. It means a lot that that he's he's like he's looking after me, making sure that I'm okay, and didn't panic and freak out and sit here and just cry. The experience has Isaac thinking he might want to be a doctor. Boring. One of these days, Jim Douglas. Channel 8 News.